Hello, it's me, Ordinary Girl, trying to be fabulous, and I told you yesterday that I would give you part two of my parents' dating courtship story. And so here it is. Um, so, you know they dated, dating. You know they wrote to each other back and forth for two years. Um, my mom was in Tennessee, my dad was in Italy, he was in the army. So, my dad um, asked my mom to marry him. And he waited and waited and, you know, hoped. And, um, you know, obviously I'm here and they're celebrating your anniversary. So she said yes. That was, that was the happy thing. And then, um, so he's stationed in Italy. So he can't come home until it's time to come home. He can't just, like, leave and come back. It's just not how the military works. So he was scheduled to come home on December 10th. And that's when he came home. He came home December 10th, and my parents were married December 15th. So, my dad, being the jokester that he is, will tell people that they only knew each other for five days before they got married. And it's like, people are like shocked because, you know, they think, Oh my gosh, you met and then five days later you got married? No. That's sort of an untruth, but, um, you know, uh, like, they did know each other. They did get to know each other. And I think it's, I think it's an interesting story because I have, you know, done online dating. I have some online dating stories in my, in my playlist, if you're interested. I have done online dating and, you know, I've, like corresponded with guys and thought well they're okay you know and um and then I meet them and I'm like nope 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 so it's a very good thing that my mom or my dad didn't meet each other and say nope 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 because I would not be here in this uh form if that had happened so they met each other they officially met each other on December 10th and they got married on December 15th. And then my dad is so funny cause uh, my mom, um, the first place he came was to the hospital. My mom was a nurse and so she's in her nurse's uniform. So he met her at the hospital and um, and then the second time they met, you know, she put on street clothes and put on little shoes. Well, even though they're in Tennessee, it's like snowy and cold. And, you know, and even though it's snowy and cold, my mom wanted to be cute. So she had on like little ballerina flats. And my dad was like, that's not acceptable. You can't wear those. Those are, it's too cold for those. So he went out and bought her a pair of boots. So another thing he says to everyone he's just met is that when he met my mom she was barefoot and he had to go out and buy her a pair of shoes and it's and she will scream no I wasn't barefoot so that's like a funny thing that they that they do and uh, so um, on their wedding day my grandfather was the pastor my aunt was the flower girl and um my my mom was standing out i guess i guess they got married in church because people always got married in church back then you know you didn't have you didn't have like off-site weddings everybody got married in a church of some shape or form so my mom was waiting in the wings for her cue to come down the aisle and her maid of honor was supposed to look around the corner and see if my dad and somebody was standing at the altar well she didn't so my mom was late walking down the altar walking down to the altar and my dad he's he likes to joke you know i think he invented dad jokes um my dad likes to joke and he's also ever the optimist 
thought that my mom had stood him up at the altar. Which, obviously, you know, eventually they got it all together and uh, they they were, you know, got it done. So, um, that's, that's the story. They got married. They've been together. I'm the result. I have a couple brothers and a sister and have nieces and nephews and all those wonderful things like that. And that's, that's the funny thing. So, um, we were trying to make it a nice anniversary because they can't really go out. I think that today is the day that some indoor dining is not allowed. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It's like, uh, so, you know, they're a little older, so they're worried about things like that anyways, you know, catching the virus. So they try to stay home as much as possible. So I'm trying to make it a nice anniversary since they can't go out to eat. Well, it's not that they can't go out to eat. Maybe they can't go out to eat. But anyways, if they could with the virus, they wouldn't do it anyway. Because, you know, they try to stay home and avoid the virus as much as possible. So we're having for dinner, um, my mom and I are having salmon. And my dad is having steak. Because, you know, I want to make it special so they get to have whatever they want. And, let's see, I'm making... Um, coconut rice and fresh broccoli and um and then we're having cheesecake for dessert and I'm making um the raspberry sauce and you know I'll put the link in the description again but if you scroll down through the recipe there's a recipe for raspberry sauce so I'm making that I'm not gonna strain the raspberries or the fruit out of it I'm just gonna like leave the pulp in it so that should be pretty good. And I'm going to show you how I made the uh, coconut rice. Yeah, uh, obviously I don't have to show you how to make broccoli because it's not that hard. You just put it in water, put it in like a quarter cup of water and boil it until it's tender. Until it's at your desired tenderness. Which for my parents is very, very tender. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I made the coconut rice. And... I'm going to show you a whole bunch of other stuff. And so, um, you know, then we'll, then we'll come back. You start with at least 12 ounces of coconut cream. This particular can is 13.75. One cup of rice. Combine the rice and the coconut cream in a saucepan. It's all cold right now. Bring it to a boil on high, and then when it's boiling, reduce the heat and put a lid on it, and it usually takes about 20 minutes to cook. So um, you wanna cook it till it's nice and fluffy. I toast the coconut on a tray, and I put it in the toaster oven on, on toast, bread toast. You have to watch it really closely because uh, the coconut will burn very easily. It will burn the second you turn your back. Toast as long as you desire. Uh, this is how I like it, how the family likes it. These are my basic steak seasonings. Um, onion, garlic, majorum, and just a little bit of salt. When the steak is almost done, I put just a little bit of soy sauce on the steak to give it a little bit more seasoning. The salmon was already seasoned. It was spicy and it made my nose run. I love this stuff and it goes really good with fish. And I understand, well, the bottle said it goes really good with steak too. We used our fancy dishes today because this is a special occasion. This is the salmon plated with everything. The steak plated with everything. And then we had cheesecake, raspberry syrup with a little chocolate sauce drizzle, and some whipped cream for dessert. And then the aftermath of fancy dishes that have to be washed by hand and cannot be washed in the dishwasher. 
Okay, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.